hello and welcome back so now in this video we will create all of the objectives as you saw in the introductory video the first object was to find the key and then to open the gate and then the next one was to turn off this computer and then after that the next objectives were to turn off these both generators and then the last one was to escape from this facility so our first objective is completed now let's continue our work on our second one which is shutting down this computer we will basically shut down this red light bulb okay so for that in the scripts folder we will create a new c sharp script let's name this as computer open this up in the visual studio code or whatever text editor you are using and then at the top we will say header and let's name this as computer on slash off after this we will create a public bool and we will name this as lights on and by default this will be set to true because yes the lights are on and after that we will create another float by the name of radius and the radius will be 2.5f so if we are in the range of 2.5 units towards this computer then we will be able to disable this computer okay so you can set the radius to whatever you want but for now i will leave it as 2.5f after that i need a reference to the light so I will say public light lights and then after this create a new header and name this as computer assign themes or whatever you want in here we need a reference to our player so for that we will say public player script and let's name this as player after that we want to also show some UI that the computer is turned off as we did for the gate and for the ammo out we want some UI for that okay so right here we will create a serialized field let's create a private game object and let's name this as system UI after this we will create another serialized field and let's make this as well private integer and we will name this as show system or you can name this as computer if you want let's actually change this to computer okay because that suit our script and yep so right here we will also say show computer UI 4 and we will show that for 5 seconds now simply right here in the awake function we will get our light so we will say lights equals to get component light and after this in the update function we will say if vector 3 dot distance then we will get our current position of the computer or system if you say and then we will check the player position so we will say player dot transform dot position and if that two are less than the radius then what we will do we will say if input dot get key down and if we press the we'll just set this to Q if we press the Q button then what we will do we will simply set the lights on to false okay when we press the Q button then you want to shut down the computer so 
we will turn the lights off and then we will set the lights dot intensity we will set that to zero because we want the light to be completely gone and then right here we will complete our objective but that is for the future and now for the UI we also want to show some UI text that computer or you can say system is turned off so for that we will do the same as we did for the door for the ammo out okay we will create our enumerator and right here we will name this as show system UI or actually show computer UI and then in here we will say computer UI dot set active we will set that to true and then we want to show that UI for five seconds so we will say we will return new wait for seconds and we will wait for seconds which is 5 so we will call that integer right here after this we will uh, simply disappear the UI so we will say computer UI dot set active let's set this to false and now let's call this function right here when we press the Q button so we will say start routine we will call that function in there and that's it and right here when we completed the objective we want to also play the complete object sound so for that right here we will type sound effect okay so in the later videos we will complete these both okay now as our script is completed we can simply save this okay and get back to the unity and right here click on this machine okay and inside this machine we have this lamp and then we have this point light and inside this point light let's create an empty new object let's name this as system UI okay here it is the system UI and on the system UI you will create a text mesh and right here you will say computer disable let's rotate this on 180 make the rotation 90 make the C1 as 90 as well and here is our computer disabled text let's make the alignment center make the text bold let's select this font okay this one is too much bigger let's select the army font and let's scale it down to 0 0.23 0 0.23 0 0.23 okay let's move this now right here okay and when the computer get disabled we will show this text so for now let's simply disable this click on the point light and as you can see we have the intensity right here we can increase this intensity or also when the object completed we will make the intensity zero but by default it will be one as you can see right here when we press the Q button we will make the intensity zero so I was talking about this point light intensity so now we have the system UI and again and again I am mistaken there and you can actually change this to computer okay computer UI 
now click on this point right and we can actually drag and drop the computer script so drag and drop that and there right here we need to provide our light so we will provide the light and then we need to provide our player so drag and drop the player there then we will drag and drop the computer ui and we show ui time i will be five and the spelling is a little bit messed up as you can see okay let's make this ui4 change this right here as well okay and now as you can see it is now showing just fine so now when we get in the radius which is 2.5 this light should be turn off then so let's play the game let's run towards the key first of all we will pick up our key now let's run towards the door and when the door is open let's run there okay first let's check it from here when we press the Q button as you can see nothing happens because we are not in the radius now let's come right here let's press the Q button still nothing happens but when we come more closer now as you can see the lights are turned off let me show that to you again actually what we can do in order to save our time let's click on our player okay and let's move our player inside the warehouse okay right there because the next period yours will be inside our warehouse because we will be creating all of our objectives so let's leave the player there now let's test the game okay let me load the cursor now now if we press Q right here as you can see nothing happens but let's get closer to the machine and now if we press Q as you can see the lights turn off and when you press it again nothing happens because the objective is now completed but if we press on Q as you can see at the top it shows that computer disabled let me show it to you again when you press the Q button as you can see it shows computer disabled and actually we can move this text a little bit down below so that the text can be visible okay but as you can see now it works just fine we need to just try and drop that a little bit down below lock the cursor now let's run towards okay okay we didn't disable the text so make sure that it disable the text okay now let's run towards it let's click on Q and as you can see it shows computer disabled and after five seconds it will be just disappear so with our computer objectives completed let's end this video right here